the David Muir character, he's lost so much respect. Everyone's talking about him. He's a joke. And ABC News is a joke, too. But most of the fake news is pretty much of a joke. He said that uh, the FBI, and he didn't know this, I guess, at the time. He probably did. But the numbers and the cities that weren't included in those numbers were Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, New Orleans, and many others of similar crime numbers. In other words, so they didn't include the worst crime numbers in the country. Look at those numbers. Chicago's not included. Los Angeles is not included. So they could say the numbers are flat, but they didn't include the big boys. And that's a fraud on the public. And as I said, it was a fraud also, just like with the eight. So it's 818,000 jobs that they said existed that didn't exist. And they thought they could hold the number off until after the election, any time after November 5th. But that didn't work out because they had a whistleblower that released the numbers. And then you have Kamala's claim that she worked at McDonald's. She never worked at McDonald's. It's a lie. They went in, they investigated it, and the fake news won't report that. They won't report it. The only one that reported it was Fox, but the fake news won't. She never worked at McDonald's. She said she stood over those French fries when they were being fried, and it was so tough work. Such, such. She never worked there. She's a liar. She's a liar. But the fake news ought to report she's a liar, because that's Sounds like a little thing, but it's a big thing because it tells you they lie. They lie about everything. They lie about statements on the military. Nobody loves the military more than me. She got up today. She said things that were just lies. She's just made up. What's bad for Trump? Oh, this would be say something bad about the military. Oh, he said bad about the military. Just like McDonald's. A total lie. That's the way they do it. And her. Her VP choice, I think, will go down as a catastrophic choice. Now, maybe I'll be wrong. I'll let you know on November 6th. But I can't believe that that guy is an asset.